Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Eva and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 playing as Russia episode number 17 of the Let's Play. Started out as Muscovy, we're now Russian Empire and we are expanding tremendously. We're now going south a little bit into the towards the we've now reached the Black Sea. We'll in a couple of years reach the Caspian Sea through six years we need to uh, integrates Astrakhan into the empire as well and then after that it's probably rolling Kazan and the Uzbek and the Orivet Horde yeah at least these two for sure maybe the Timurids as well we might we, we might not anyway right now we're just getting in this area we want to get our expansion done and it's going very well also don't forget I have a contest going in which you can win a copy of Europa Universalis 4 the game I'm playing right now so go to my latest vlog video I call them talk talk because it has a nice ring to it if I must say so myself and you can basically have a chance at winning it there um, well before we continue reduce by spending diplomatic power I will do that Tartar Patriots defects to Crimea. Okay, that's actually beneficial for us, but how long will it take? Boom, Kazan is back in the coalition. Ah, Lithuania. No. Oh, they're the only one. Oh, we're bound for harvest. So Kazan joining, that's well, was expected. Also, we have 666 gold. Well, let's build another grain facility. Costs us a little bit of admin power, but should be fine. Um, access for the Ottomans, access for Tunisia, but look at us, conquest against Greece, apparently Greece is now a part of, this is Greece, anyway, um, is royal marriage, etc, etc, well, they would accept it, so why shouldn't we try this? Influence that will they alliance with us? Yeah, sure. I just that's the only issue is that we have six out of six relations, mostly royal marriages. And removing a royal marriage will lose us stability by one. But I think yeah, I think that should not be the big of an issue right now. Oh no, we lost some stability. But it means Greece is freed up. Or Georgia. Georgia will accept vassalization right now. Okay. And they are already... Ah, so we need to start improving our relations with them immensely. Mm -hmm. So improve our relations with you guys. And Greece, let's offer you an alliance first. There we go, next royal marriage, then improve relations, and then offer vassalization. Anyway, wow, we now have a huge crowd of forces over here. So, uh, we have 27142. 27142. 20. Really, is that it? 27142. I guess we lost some. We, we must have lost something in the war. I think along the way we must have lost artillery because we had way more artillery than we do now. I mean, this is all our army, so. Right now we're coming to 36 in total, 14.5. 36, 14.5. 18.73. 18, 7, 18 would bring us to 28,000 each army. So 18, uh -huh. As, let's see, 18, yeah, there are still six incoming. So 18, then we move three back because those are the ones that are already on the other side of the world. And then seven cavalry and two, one, two, three, four, Seven. Okay, this unit can go to Samara. And I will also build a unit here. It might have been... Ah, yeah, that might have been because of the amount of... What are they called again? 
That will take 27 months. Yeah, let's send them already. And let's start coring the other ones first. There we go. So now we have our... Ah, perfect. Greece is giving us the royal marriage, which means we're still at 6 out of 6. Diplomacy, we need to improve our relations as soon as possible. We get to 200 and offer the vassalization. Same thing we're doing with Georgia. You can get them. Azov, zealots have risen, but that's why we have our army there. Also Hungary, 47. We need 125. They will accept the alliance. They will. That's 100 and that's 75 increased. When aggressive expansion drops off, that should be enough to complete our goal. And if we keep that for 25 months, then we would actually. It doesn't really. Uh, where are they going now? Kuban. Damn it! We need to follow. Also, these guys need to get together first. And we need to get rid of those guys. Uh, Württemberg, religious unity from Austria. Goody. Now you get back there because Azov is a lot more prone. Because of the um, missionary going around there. Anyway, uh, we're free here. So what else did we have? I wouldn't mind getting rid of another royal marriage right now. If we can get hungry. To be honest. The vassal, the vassal with um, Astrakhan is still five years away, which is annoying, but inevitable. We get eight, six, and six right now. Good enough. These are all done. Very good. I have no idea how far I'm behind in tech, but now we can start catching up some more. 15% bonus. 15 bonus, 10 bonus. Yeah, we are behind. That's at least... That's actually 8 behind, I think. But we cannot have the overextension at, as long as we uh, want to do this. So... Uh, we could get that stuff with Hungary just fixed right now. Mm. You know what? I'm just going to do it. Screw it all. Give them an alliance, give them a royal marriage after that, unless they start giving it themselves. Then at the end of the year, it should be fine with our mission. Lorraine is of the right faith. Yeah, that's of course the other annoying thing. No guy nationalists have crossed our border into Rhine. Ah, there it is. That's good. Here we go. Royal marriage with them. Hejaz has become independent from Yemen. Very nice. Or was it Karakoyonlu? Could be too. Well, let's just kill off these rebels here. Oh my, the Ottomans are expanding. And let's get them back into Samara. Yeah, I know this. Uh, make core in Rhine can be started, so I will. So for now, these are the cores I can make. 108 is needed here. Is Could it still go down? No, that's actually the lowest. No, hang on. Oh, wait. Actually quite low. Um, gained the diplomatic insult against Lithuania. 122. Let's just... Well, we might have to do that at the end of the... At the start of the new year, so... Let's get ready. And done. Yeah, we need one more. But now we can actually get the plus that we need. There we go. Reduce overextension back to zero. We gain a diplomat. Spread our culture to Tambov. Oh, how much would it cost? Way too much. Not happening. Ah, we have converted Bryansk. And we cannot do more right now because we are pouring it which is a little bit of a shame uh, but we can start making the core now so might as well do that so reducing overextension it's a mission that we're trying to complete regardless we stopped with Hungary as expected look at that Samara, Rhine, Sartre, Azov 
Kuban, where is Kuban on that list? Oh yeah, it's also there. Uh, which are we trying to... One missionary is indeed in Samara. And going to Kuban will, over in average, reduce the revolt risk more. Mm -hmm. Russia, getting larger and larger. As it should. How is Georgia? 148 now. Good, good, good. Getting there. Back to Samara with you guys. So this, yeah, this reduced revolt risk a little bit more. Actually, to, wow. That's quite a good revolt risk reduction from just having the army there. How are the colonies doing? 4, 3, 6, and 6, 8, 9. Getting there. That... Are you kidding me? Oh well, let's just send one army there and then back again. Most impressive part, Lithuania never joined the coalition against me once again. They did not. Embar they are embargoing me now though. Or the following nodes by the stated percentage. Wow, that's quite a lot. Then again, hmm, it's not like I care. And still going down by more than five every year. So that's good, good, good. Only a march can be built. How is our inflation going? Still going down. Very nice. Our gold income is quite significant. So that's bringing that up. But we have our advisor bringing it down. Ooh, yes. Diplomatic reputation. I like that change. This means this goes a lot faster. It's only two years shaved off. Um, let him stay home. Give me the fortification stuff. And no, I will not switch my diplomatic guy. Well, my military guy right now. Georgia. Good. Really. Again with the peasants. Huh. It's it's looking a little bit funky, the nation, but at least we cut off Lithuania from most of Crimea. And apparently, this jo did join Crimea, but Trebizond is not part of the Ottoman Empire. And Serbia is still going strong. Still impressed by them. And Kuban. Oh, okay, that's actually where one of my armies is. Iron ore quality, ah uh, yes, it's actually there. Should be beating it up instantly. There we go. Running to Azov, let's follow them. Oh, it's also my leader, so that shouldn't be that big of an issue. Oh, you guys actually need to be in Samara to reduce the revolt risk, not be outside of it. Uh -huh. Overextension, dangerously high, but we're working on it. Samara is going, is almost done with the... Uh, Missionary, so Saratov will soon be ours as well. 1560. One more year. Should build more of these uh, fortresses. But then again, military power needed for tech. Armory? Where is an arm? Ooh, armory here. I do like armories. Close to enforcing demands, but that's not in our nation. That's next to our nation. Uh, finally converted Samara, which means I can send you guys here. And core this for 108 instead of uh, 180. Lith there they are. That took them long enough to join the coalition. And uh, they are reinforced already. Yeah, so I think I will need fortresses along the border with Lithuania everywhere. Just in case. Uh, 130, going strong. Hungary should then join this as well. Poland is still an ally as well, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So let's improve our relations with them back to max at least. Same dynasty, royal marriage, alliance, access, improved relations... Very well. Um, they have royal marriage with their neighbors as well, though. 
Denmark actually. Regency Council, Regency for Karl the Nerste, Karl the First. Um, run marriages with me, Dimitri from Habsburg. Oh, Jesus, a one four three. That's already thirty nine years old, because King Seaman is still sitting on the throne at sixty five. Interesting. How is Georgia doing? Oh, you're almost there. Almost ready for vassalization. Military alliance, relations, same religion. Our country must be at peace. Greece is also orthodox. Perfect. Two more vassals incoming. That's actually very nice. Georgia is a little, can be a little bit of a buffer against the Ottomans that way. And the fact that Crimea is in between is actually not that big of a deal, apparently. We've lost a trade dispute against Lithuania. Oh, colony self-sustaining. Corret, now. Next, go there. Good, good, good. Oh, the next one will very, very likely be actually bordering the Oirat Horde. Huh. Oh well. But Russia is expanding. At a very fast rate, which is good. Wanna reach the Pacific Ocean. Let's zoom in here again. Um annexing actually almost done. 1560. Um Georgia is at very high. A couple of months I think left. I mean we do lose two now. Yeah, we lost two and then 149 here, so I like to rival Oh, allied to what rival? Who do you see as rivals? Crimea and Georgia. Which means we will probably have to give them a gift of money to actually convince them of our superiority and then vassalize them. But they will be done in a very short time. Uh, Georgia is now good enough. Stop improving. Once you're home, we vassalize you. Poland is getting close to max again. I wonder if this is... That's very good. That colony just got 200 more people. Means it's so much sooner done. Yes, make them our vassal. And maybe it will change them away from the rival. Not sure. We have Lithuania as our rival, obviously. Who else would we have as our rival right now? I mean, these guys are just... Nothing. <laughs> well, anyway, Georgia is now ours. Greece will soon be as well. Apparently, they decided to remove their rivalry because... No, they're, we're still rivals, but because of we don't have an alliance anymore. They're now vassals. Interesting. Great Britain cancelled access. Mines as well in the Platinet too. Oh, that's actually the wrong one. Integrating Astrakhan. It's a slow process. Which will lose me legitimacy, but I did get a nation. Some more people. Actually, Crimea has entered the coalition now. Oh, um... Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of them all. This does mean I can start... Converting more people. Very nice. So Russia just expanded with three more provinces. That are also instantly cored. So that's very helpful. So. Military access from Akkoyunlu. What is our force limit anyway? Um, 100. Like for serious, I think we're going to, going to build another army then. Um, so how big are my armies here now? Seven three. Okay, I will want one more cavalry and artillery in each of them. And the artillery, same for the other one. And the cavalry takes. So yeah, I maybe shouldn't have built them in these two at least. Cavalry, artillery. 
and then we should spend some money on mil making some more militia which are ex just their infantry is so cheap for us one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fourteen fifteen sixteen already now we need two more and they're done huh oh tartars are now accepted culture awesome we have enough tartars in the nation to see them as an accepted culture which means a lot more manpower a lot more tax income this is now at 3.4 i'm probably going to switch that in the next month For, well it's 1.5 up that's still something greece offer vassalization benign neglect um east tungunska well let's just tax it Greece is now also our vassal, which will give us a border with this part of Crimea. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh, it's just good that we got Tartars as, uh, as an accepted culture now too, though. Also, we just lost the diplomatic relation because, well, we integrated one. Um, Timurids, we're very close to them now. Uzbeks are not happy with us. They are not. Uh, let's see, they can be gone. France, how are you feeling? Plus 38, perfectly fine. Castile, uh, let's just make Castile happy for a bit. I uh, don't want any cascading stuff suddenly happening. Okay, that's all our forces up here done. They can all go to Moscow. Improvements in land technology. Use caution, please. I'm already very high on in inflation. I don't want it increased even more. That makes us 18,000 strong, which is the start. Then we just need to add cavalry and artillery, which is a little more expensive. Uh, military access for Algiers now. Okay, let's improve our relations with the Ottomans again. This is now only at minus 41 already. Very good, very good. Russia. Yeah, Lithuania really isn't is a little bit annoying. We gained a core in Saratov, which decreases our uh, overextension immensely. How big is the Tartar culture anyway? That's a lot of accepted culture that we have right now. Oh yeah. That will all be ours at one point. Ah, the Kazakhs as well. Yakut, wow, that's not a lot of provinces. That's two provinces of one. No, wait, they're over here as well. Then there are the Mongols themselves. They're all part of the Mongol, uh, at least of the horde of the tribes, at least. Astrakhan, Kazim Khanate. Seriously, Kazim Khanate? What is this, then? It's probably one of them. Oh well, let's just deal with them. Uh, you guys can get together there. You guys can go already here. I will not send them into that one yet. Oh, I need to combine you all. There we go. We Now we 180k manpower, by the way. This has gone up immensely as well. They can all come together. They can just swip in. Kazim Khanate, yeah, working on the conversions right now. Uh, missionaries, Sarai and Sarichin. These two. Good, we won. Let's get them back into Rhine, these guys as well. Disputed succession, Denmark. Well, it's a disputed succession, but... Could I just claim the throne? What would happen? Minus 20 prestige. Ugh. Sweden still in the union with Bohemia. Hmm, this might at one point become weird. Anyway, oh god, it's a war with France. Oh, we converted one group of people. If we lose, we lose 25 prestige. If we don't accept, um, who else is in that war? Anyway, let's see. France. 
I can... Oh, God, that other war as well is pretty big. Sardinian Succession War. Hungary, Bavaria, and the Papal State. I think the biggest problem is this one. What, Austria, really? But these two are all both bigger than me. Despite the force limit, so they have a good income. Um, yeah, we need to work on our force limit, that's for sure. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to decline. I mean, prestige is so high, I can't take the hit. But, I'm sorry. Let's start converting Astrakhan as well, by the way. Also, um, how much is it to boost our stability? 112 only, wow. Unity is getting close, very close now. Core construction almost done in Tunguska as well. And our, ah, there are two more behind this one. Very nice to know. Uncolonized, uncolonized. The name doesn't show on the map though. Oh, there it is. No, oh, here, look, no name. Interesting, but I need to get further east. Baikal Lake, nice. I'm probably going to be bordering them very soon. Anyway, yeah, I think I'm just going to have to expand our military quite a bit. So what I'm first going to do is build a couple more units for this group so the eastern forces can just stay there. I mean, these guys. Which means I should expand them as well with some uh, another three here as well. There we go. Yeah, I cannot afford to join a war with France all the way over there. Even though, if we look at the diplomatic map mode, they're at war with everyone away from them, but that's still freaking scary as hell. Ah, uh, West Tunguska is now part of the patrimony. Very nice. Um, I do need more money. Native assimilation in Angara, which means that they have become self-sustaining. Let's score it for 8, so which of these is the most worthy? I think this 3 is good. Our colonist still has to come home first. So yeah, we do need to advance beyond. Yeah, then we'll just start our border with the Oirat Horde. We have no choice at this moment. But I do think they are behind in tech somewhat. Not that far though. We need the next military tech level. That will advance our troops immensely. Crimea, they would not accept this because they're not in the same religion. They happen to be Sunni. Greece. This is, by the way, a very fun one because we could help Greece start conquering their own stuff back. Uh, well, sir, their own stuff. I mean, oh, Byzantium considered as a score. Um, gain 60 manpower or gain 2 base tax in Moskva. We already have 10, so I'm going to increase our base tax. Oh yeah, how much is our manpower? Um, that province is really that big. Holy crap. Wow. That's a lot. Anyway, I want to raise taxes even higher to 12. Also, I had some money now to build stuff. It should be a fortress over there. Here we go. You three need to come in here. Join them. One army again. Ah, yes. Uh, ah, we've converted the heretics. Uh -huh. Good. Diplomat is done. So these are now also orthodox people. Orthodox church is expanding south into the Sunni areas. Into the Islam. This is all Sunni, but Orthodox is now caught up to them. Ha! Huh. Oh yeah, we did already do Azov. That's true. Albrecht the sixth. Oh wow, Maria Theresa did not live long. Shame on her. Good for us. Units. Uh, 28 cost for artillery. It's expensive, but... What are you going to do about it? Armories, ooh, more, 66, wow, manpower increase, insane, thank you, final, yes, let's build a constable, thank you for the um, last, I for the completing of the ideas here, plus 100% manpower, 
It's insane for us. We can have a total of 190,000 by now. Blimey. Timurids don't really like us, but soon we will take them on. Mwahaha. Hungry, bit angry, but yeah, sorry about that. We kind of did the ignoble thing and cancel our uh, alliance with them. Oh, we got a holy war against Oirat Horde. Interesting. Korea is getting big. Huh. Russia. The Russian Empire. Going east, going south, going west, going everywhere. Um, cores are being completed everywhere. Money is a little bit slower, but that's because we do have these two guys running around. Which is helpful too, though, don't get me wrong. Um, Livonian order, how about this then? Oh yeah, they would not do that. Riga either, you know. I like the Livonian order area. I really do. I really, really do. I really like their area. So let's start a claim again so we can vassalize them again if we need to, if we want to. Get us some more land westward as well. I'm like, whoa. So how is our overextension? 76%, but everything is being cored that we can core. Almost done in Kuban, by the way, in yeah, November of the year. Um, we're reducing, that's the mission. Managed to convert Astrakhan as well. Yay, Orthodox Church reaches both the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea now. Good for us. Also over here, Kazan just leaves the coalition. Oh, Lithuania, you're on your own again. Um, constables, well, maybe workshops. Plus 71, sure thing, I'll build a workshop. Because production is our thing, I mean, seriously, production 40% already. We could get more taxes, but 30% of that is coming from stability, so. Yeah, I think that economic is going to be a very good idea group for us. This one, and I also want espionage. I want either quantity or quality. I mean, seriously, quantity, even more units on the field. Oh, hang on. Um, last event of the episode. Growth of cities attracts serfs. It seems as if serfs are moving out of the provinces and aim to earn a living at the capital. This is creating turmoil in the country, but our capital may benefit in the long run. We have to accept this, so we'd lose base tank in our base tax in Arkhangelsk, gain in the most friendly stability. Or we serves belong under turf, increase serfdom, morale of armies goes down by 10% for 20 years, but the stability cost goes up. Well, we'll have to accept this. I think we do. Also, we'll have to accept uh, a boost in, uh, in stability. We'll have to accept one right now. I'm going to wait with the others until we're actually cored. I mean, we're at 98% with that one. Anyway, the Russian Empire has expanded once again. Where shall we go next? Is it west? Is it east? Is it south? Why not all? Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Remember, there's a contest going on. You can get a free copy of EU4 if you want to. Just check my last vlog. The second one from November the 7th, if I'm right. I think it's the 7th. Anyway, again, thank you for watching. I will see you guys later.